Hi guys, Olex here with phototipsonline.com and this is an unboxing and quick review of Nissin PS8 Power Pack. There is instruction manual and here is the unit itself uh, inside the carrying case. Let's put that aside for a second and look at the rest of the content of the box. And we've got here a shoulder strap and a power cable and in this box here there is um, a battery itself with a uh, AC adapter and here's the battery one more box and there it is let's look at the main unit itself Here it is, uh, Nissin PS8 power pack. There's an opening at the bottom to insert the battery, so let's just go ahead and do that. It, it's very easy, the battery just slips in and locks. To remove it, unlock, pull, pops out. Very good design, really like it, very easy to change the battery. And there's a belt clip here which appears to be metal and um, you can, so you can use it on, on your belt or you can attach a shoulder strap here. On the top here we've got a control panel, two sockets uh, to power one or two flashes at the same time. The power switch has three settings. The low setting is for saving the battery. It gives you the slowest recycling time but it's still much faster than uh, AA batteries of your speedlight. The medium setting is recommended when you power a single speed light and the high setting uh, for two flashes at the same time or when you use Nissin MG8000 uh, speed light which does not overheat. The USB port is very handy. You can uh, charge your smartphones, tablets um, and for example you can charge your iPhone twice on a single battery charge of this power pack or you can get your iPad charged up to 40%. Uh, the battery level indicator uh, stays green until the battery charge goes down to 30% at which point it turns red and then it starts blinking uh, when it's time to recharge the battery. Nissan PS8 is fairly lightweight. It's um, less than a pound, uh, about uh, 13 ounces or 380 grams. It is um, designed to give you about uh, 550 full power uh, flashes on a single charge and um, the battery can be recharged up to uh, 500 times. Let's just go ahead and try this power pack with the Canon unit here. So to connect the cable just align the marks and push the cable in and then attach it to the flash. Let's turn the flash on. The flash is set to manual mode, uh, full power, so let's pop that. So the charge time, the recycling time is about 3 seconds. And now if we turn on the power pack to the minimum setting, pop, you can see that it's much faster. And the medium setting will give us even faster recycling, and if we go all the way to high setting, it's just over half a second very fast recycling time. The carrying case here is actually rainproof so you can put the power pack inside it and uh, have it closed like that and don't worry about the rain that much anymore and of course assuming that your flash is also rainproof. That's it for now. We're gonna post an in-depth review of this power pack on our website phototipsonline.com as soon as we finish the article, it's going to be up there and the link is going to be in the description of this video. And see you again soon.